Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a topic that many of you have asked about. The difference in image transmission efficiency between 2.4 and 5.8 GHz when flying the Fumitella drone. These two frequency bands have unique strengths and weaknesses, and understanding them can help you get the most out of your drone. Let's break it down. When it comes to drone image transmission, the frequency band plays a crucial role. 2.4 GHz, known for its longer range and better penetration through obstacles like trees and buildings. However, it's more prone to interference because it's a common frequency for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other devices. 5.8 GHz, offers higher bandwidth, which can mean better video quality and reduced latency. It's less congested, but has a shorter range and struggles with obstructions. These differences can significantly impact your flying experience, so let's see how they perform in real-world scenarios. I conducted tests in open fields to compare the performance of 2.4 and 5.8 GHz. Here is what I found. Range. On 2.4 GHz, I was able to fly the drone up to 5 km before engaging the return to home function manually. On 5.8 GHz, the range was shorter, around 3.5 km when the drone disconnected and triggered the return to home function. Signal stability. At longer distances, 2.4 GHz maintained a steady connection, though interference caused occasional signal drops. I noticed a slight drop in signal quality at first kilometer, a reduction of 2 bars out of 5 at 1.7 km, and down to 1 bar at 2.1 km, until reaching 5 clicks. 5.8 GHz provided the smoother feed up to 1 km, but started cutting out sooner when pushing the distance. Image quality. Both frequencies provided clear video. However, despite expecting the 5.8 GHz band to handle higher resolutions better due to its bandwidth advantage, the feed struggled to remain stable after the first kilometer in this test. Interference and real-world implications Let's talk about interference. In open fields, interference was minimal, but in more crowded environments, 2.4 GHz would likely face more challenges due to other devices operating to the same frequency. Meanwhile, 5.8 GHz with uh, fewer devices using it could sign in such scenarios. Conclusion so, which frequency should you use? Of course, it depends on your flying environment. Choose 2.4 for long-range flights in open spaces or areas with obstacles where signal penetration is a key. Choose 5.8 GHz for environments with high Wi-Fi interference or when you need the best video quality over shorter distances. Both bands have their place. And the beauty of the Femi Teledrone is that it gives you the flexibility to switch based on your needs. So guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss more tips and tests like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.